was invited in a podcast and someone asked me this question. Descarte o diploma? And if you are watching my videos, you already know the answer. Since I started creating content, whenever people ask me this question, I will always choose Descarte. But that is my choice. And a lot of people had been giving me a lot of hate for it. Now, I want you to understand this. If you want answers, if you want the truth, if you really want to learn, watch the whole video. Because online, that's what's happening. I decided to create this video to educate you about the truth. For you to have more of what we call common sense. And for you to understand the real context. Because I realized one important thing. It's actually easier to make someone dumber and more stupid than to make someone smarter. Mas madaling gawing bobo yung mga tao. Think about it. There are actually a group of creators, influencers, who are earning from the comment, from the like, from the views. Alright? They don't have a business. They are not entrepreneurs. Most of them are simply earning from your attention. And here's what's happening. They will take a tiny substrata, a small portion of my video, without the true context, without the real meaning of the video. Upload that video, make negative comments, so people will hate me. Without really understanding what I said. Na hindi nila pinanood yung buong podcast. Na hindi nila pinapanood yung content na dati ko pang sinasabi. School is subconsciously training you to become an employee. Don't get me wrong. Ang dami mong matututunan sa school. Sobrang dami. And education is very important. Na mahalaga ang education. Because for me, education and diploma is different. Mamaya pag-uusapan natin yun. I realized that since mas madaling gawing bobo ang tao, I have to create more content. I have to be more specific. Kahit sobrang linaw na ng sinasabi ko, kahit pinapaintindi kong pilit sa mga audience kung ano yung ibig kong sabihin, I will cite examples, stories, even from my own personal experiences. I realize that I have to educate people more. And these people are just proving my point that we have to prioritize education. Because obviously, we are not learning. Masyado tayong kinakain ng sistema. Masyado tayong kinakain ng social media. Masyado tayong nagpapapaniwala sa mga influencers, sa mga negative na tao. Kasi we want the cloud. We want the hate. We want a piece of the chismes. Ang hindi nyo naiintindihan, pinagkakakitaan nila yung negativity. Pinagkakakitaan nila yung cloud. Pinagkakakitaan nila yung attention mo. And here you are. Distracted hindi mo naiintindihan yung ibig sabihin ng sinasabi ko. Because it's not about who's right and who's wrong. It's about what's the truth. So ano ang ibig sabihin ni MJ Lopez? Una, the question was addressed to me. Ano ang pipiliin mo? Diploma o discarte? It is not a question of ano dapat yung piliin ng mga kabataan? Ano ang advice mo sa mga kabataan? Ano ang masasabi mo sa education? Ano ang masasabi mo sa diploma? Hindi ganun eh. The question was, ano ang pipiliin mo? And obviously, because of my experience, I will always choose this karte. Because you have to understand my background. Una, I came from a very poor family. Tola ko dating katulong. Nanay ko, 16 na buntis. Nung one year old ako, yung tatay ko sumakabil ng bahay, tapos doon na rin siya sumakabil ng buhay sa kabilang bahay. Hindi ko siya na-meet, pinalaki ako ng single mom. So basically, walang opportunity, walang pera pang paaral, naghanap buhay ng maaga. So lumalaki ako, nakikita ko yung diskarte ng nanay ko. Paano siya nagkakapera, paano niya kami inangat, and she became a millionaire at 19. And based on my own personal experience, so ulitin ko, this is my personal experience. 100% ng mga kamag-anak namin na may diploma, nilalait yung nanay ko. Dinadown yung nanay ko. Tendera lang yan. Tendera lang yan sa palengke. Bata-bata pa, nagtitinda ng Ibo Natasha, Tupperware, Malandi, Haliparot, walang pag-asa. So I was thinking, nung bata pa lang ako, na kapag may diploma ka, sumasama ugali mo. That was my belief. So obviously, nung 16 na ako, take note, na-scam kami nun, ubus lahat ng pera. Maliban sa mas gugustuhin kong maghanap buhay, ayoko talaga ng diploma. Ang gusto ko matuto. So, ibig sabihin, doesn't mean I don't like school. Doesn't mean I don't like learning. I love learning. I have Harvard certificates. I'm still studying right now. From short courses to seminars to workshops. I'm enrolled in the Master University by Tony Robbins. 
guys, napaka mahal na investment. Not to mention, we have to go to Florida, Australia, Fiji. But I love learning. I'm reading books. A lot of books. And I'm actually educating people for free. You have to understand, I'm sustaining all this. Sarili kong pera. We are not your typical content creators na kumikita sa content. No. I am an entrepreneur. I have several corporations. And I'm still building more businesses. And I just want to educate people. I share with you my experiences through vlogs, diba? Nag-update ako, pinapakita ko sa inyo yung proseso, totoong proseso ng pagnanegosyo. Pinapakita ko sa inyo yung mga mini-mentor ko, kamusta yung growth nila, kamusta yung results nila. I even created a course for you. And number one sa course, clarity. Number one sa course, success blueprint, your own blueprint, finding what you want. Discovering what you really want. Living the life on your own terms. So it's about what you want, not what I want. So bottom line, when you ask me, which is sinabi ko to sa isang podcast, di ko lang maintindihan na bakit pag kinat nila yung video, hindi pinapakita yung buong sinabi ko. Maybe because a lot of creators really want to create cloud around this. But here's what I said. If you will ask me, kung education versus discarte, I will always choose education. Kaya lang ang tanong kasi diploma. It's different for me eh. Kasi diploma is just a paper. Maraming may diploma, hindi natuto. Maraming diploma, walang trabaho. So for me, here's the hierarchy of values. Education for me is top one, number one. That is why I always create content. This is free. After this, may mentoring session pa ako sa labas. That's free. I love teaching people. I love educating people. It's my passion, guys. Kaya nga kahit binabash ako, masaya pa rin ako eh. Kasi ang dami kong nare-realize. Mas nare-realize ko ngayon na mas kailangan ko mag-educate ng tao. Kasi nga, ang bilis, bilis ma-attract ng mga tao sa negativity. Ngayon, hindi nila alam kung kanina sila makikinig. Ang daming influencers. Plastic. In reality, sumasakay lang sa cloud or sinasabi lang nila yung gusto nyong marinig. Pero hindi naman sila consistent. Before, sasabihin nila, discarte. Ngayon, diploma na. Ako, I'm consistent kasi. Because this is who I am. Ayoko talaga ng diploma. But that doesn't mean gagayahin mo ako. No. I'm just answering the question. Alright? So again, number one sa akin ang education. That's number one. Next is core values. Like respect, discipline, diligence. My work ethic is extremely important for me. Because yung discipline, diligence, my work ethic, that is utilizing the education that I have. That is utilizing the knowledge. Mahalaga sa akin ang ginagamit ko siya. Mahalaga sa akin na ginagawa ko siya. Mahalaga sa akin na ina-apply ko. Values like responsibility, love, compassion, honesty, and devotion. So, yun yung mga bagay na pinapahalagahan ko. After that, ano pa? I have my family, my businesses, the people who invested their trust in me. Results, because the results won't lie. At nasa pinakababa, yung diploma. Para sa akin, yun, ha? Bakit naman, Sir MJ? Kasi hindi ko siya kailangan. I'm a businessman, alright? Uulitin ko, diploma is extremely important for most people. Pero ang pinakamahalaga sa lahat is natuto ka sa pinag-aralan mo. And another thing, ikaw ang pumili ng kurso mo. Dati ko pa ito sinasabi, gawin mo yung gusto mo. Piliin mo yung course na gusto mo. Because what I want, what we all want, is a functional community. ba diba, ayaw naman natin ng nurse na ayaw maging nurse. Imagine mo. Yung nurse, ang dream niya, maging tattoo artist. So imagine, blood transfusion. Tuturoan ka kayo ng bubble break siya, diba? Imagine an engineer na gusto maging gamer. Imagine na doctor na ang pangarap maging negosyante. Pero if we put the right people in the right places, grabe yung community natin. Masaya nagtatrabaho, passionate lahat. Alam kong malabong mangyari. Pero we can always make a better choice. This is not about diploma or discarte. This is about people lacking common sense and people doesn't have the humility to listen, to do the research, to really understand the context. May time tayo mang hate, pero wala tayong time makinig. May time tayo mang negative ng kapwa. May time tayong gumawa ng video, putulin yung video, pero wala tayong time na intindihin yung tao. Yung buong konteksto. Sasabihin nyo, scam kami, pero in reality, kayong mga creators, ginagamit nyo yung negativity ng tao para kumita ng pera. If that's what you wanna do in your life, then shall be it. 
'di ba? Kung kung kaya mong sikmurain, kaya mong dibdibin, no humaharap ka sa salamin araw-araw na ang pinapakain mo sa sarili mo, na ang pinapakain mo sa anak mo, sa pamilya mo. Galing sa panghihit ng kapwa, galing sa pang-negative ng kapwa, kung kaya mong sikmurain yan, tuloy mo lang. Pero isang tao hindi mo kayang lokohin sarili mo. Kaya yung mga creators na gumagawa ng cloud, gumagawa ng negativity, alam nyo ang totoo. Alam nyo ginagawa nyo. And the worst part is, alam natin lahat kung saan tayo mali. At alam na alam mo kung saan ka mali. Tuloy nyo lang yan. And I will continue educating people. Because this is what I love to do. So balikan natin, may mga career na mahalaga talaga yung diploma. One major example is piloto. Pero understand na hindi lang siya basta diploma, di ba? Kukuha pa yan ng lisensya. Testing pa. Bakit? Kasi mahalagang natuto sila. Engineers, ganun din. Kailangan nilang mag-exam ulit to make sure na natuto ba talaga sila. Ganun din ng doctors, lawyers, even nurses. Why is that? Because everyone in the community plays a vital role. Uulitin ko, lahat ng degree, lahat ng course, lahat yan mahalaga. Lahat yan importante yung role. Importante yung nurse, importante yung doctors, importante yung mga engineers, importante yung mga... Importante yan lahat. Importante yung mga electrician, tobero, lawyer, piloto. Lahat yan importante. It's just that, hindi yun ang gusto ko for myself. Because again, the question was addressed to me. So bago ka matrigger, it's very important that you ask yourself, ano ba yung gusto mo? Because it's not about what I say. It is about what you want for yourself. What do you want? Kung gusto mo maging engineer, go for it. Kasi in reality, pwede kang maging engineer na may business. Engineer, pwede kang empleyado. Pero kung madiskarte ka, pwede kang magtayo ng sarili mong firm. Accountant ka. Pwede tiga bilang ka ng pera na hindi iyo. Accountant ka. Pwede tiga compute ka. Pwede tiga compute ka ng tax, bookkeeping, or pwede magtayo ka ng sarili mong firm. Negosyante ka pa rin nun. Doktor ka, pwede kang i-hire. Or pwede kang magtayo ng sarili mong clinic hanggang maging ospital yan. Kuha ka ng investors, di ba? Pwede kang maging piloto. You may be an employee for a long time, pero sobrang importante nung role. Kasi hindi makakarating yung mga negosyante, yung mga tao, yung mga professional sa iba't ibang bansa without the pilot. Everyone is important. But what I'm saying, di ba, paulit-ulit, is kung magne-negosyo ka, hindi mo kailangan yung diploma. I'm not saying huwag kang kumuha. Okay? It's just that based on my own experience, it's not important, it's not worth it, and it's a waste of time para sa akin. Kasi kung negosyante ka, nag-ooperate ka ng korporasyon mo, aanhin mo yung diploma. Yes, you can study skills. Uulitin ko. Iba ulit, yung diploma, kasi when we say that we want diploma, it's as if we are saying na nagahabol tayo sa titulo at sa papel. Pero if you want to enroll in a course, if you want to study to educate yourself, it's not about the certificate. It's not about the diploma. It's about what you've learned. It's about the strategies you can apply. It's about the tools you can use in your life. So you want us to focus on learning. That's the point. I don't want you to focus on the title and on the diploma. I want you to focus on really immersing yourself to learn, to achieve, to create value for people. That's what we all want. Saka nakarinig ka na ba ng bilyonaryo o milyonaryo na nag-introduce? Hi, my name is ganito. I'm a graduate of this, 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 this. May narinig ka na ba? Hyper-successful na negosyante. Na nung pinakilala niya sarili niya, nakalagay yung degree, Pwedeng may natapos yan, ha? pwedeng wala, pwedeng meron. Pero bakit hindi nila yung sinasabi? It is not about your title. It is about what you do in this world. Yun lang yung point ko. Hindi ko pinahahalagahan masyado yung titulo. Ang mahalaga sa akin, ano ba ginagawa mo? Anong klaseng tao ka? Kasi alam naman natin, diploma, special knowledge, sa double-edged sword. Pwede mong gamitin yan sa tama, pero other people are using it para gumawa ng mali. Even social media, pwede mong gamitin sa maganda, pwede mong gamitin sa tama. Pwede mo rin gamitin sa mali. So my point is very simple. It's not about me. It's not about this freaking influencers. It's not about what we say. Kaya ko lang sinasabi na kailangan mong ma-develop yung diskarte. Kasi pwede namang mag-aral ka, magtapos ka, manood ka ng videos namin, hindi natuto ka pa. Pwede mo namang pagsabayan. At the end of the day, it's all up to you. What would you choose for yourself? Anong pipiliin mong gawin? And I have 
piece of advice for those people na hindi alam yung gagawin or mag-start palang mag-aral. One, please understand what you really want. Because the best gift you can give yourself is clarity. Aralin mo sarili mo. Alamin mo ano ba talaga gusto mong gawin. Alamin mo ano yung mahal mo. Alamin mo ano magpapasaya sa'yo. Because if you will, if you will go to school, if you will go to college, if you will study, ang pinakamahalagang aralin mo muna bago mo aralin yung buhay ng iba, bago mo aralin buhay ni Rizal, bago mo aralin yung kung ano-anong literature, aralin mo sarili mong buhay. Aralin mo sarili mo. So that's one. So after understanding what you want, after gaining some clarity, number two, make sure that when you go to school, that when you go to college, that when you enroll in a course, it is related to the goal. It is related to what you want. Because I don't want you spending all your time para lang maubos yung willpower mo, para lang madrain yung spirit mo. So you can also focus on learning. That's number three. Focus on learning. Focus on building relationships. Focus on the experience. Again, pwedeng mataas yung score mo. Pero, what if mataas na yung score mo, natuto ka pa, gumaling ka pa, nakapag-build ka pa ng skills. Number four, if you have the chance to apply, use, utilize the education, the knowledge, kung may chance kang gamitin agad, gamitin mo agad, experience mo agad. Kasi mas bumabaon yung learning kung hindi lang siya nandito. Mas bumabaon yung learning kung ina-apply mo, kung ginagawa mo. Number five is humility. Kahit gaano karami alam mo, kahit gaano ka katalino, kahit gaano kataas yung grades mo, kahit gaano ka kayaman, matuto kang makinig. Make sure that you are still growing, make sure that you are still learning, because the moment that you stop learning, the moment that you stop growing, is the start of your downfall. So since we all love education, since we all love knowledge, just continue watching. Bonus step, make sure that you don't listen to other people. Listen to yourself, listen to your heart, and just do whatever the fuck you want to do. And with that, I hope you are now educated. And I hope marami ka natutunan. If you don't like me, it's okay. If you don't like what I said, it's okay. I'm not here to please you. I'm here to educate you about the truth, about my truth. And my wish for you is for you to find your own truth. Ano ba yung totoo sa iyo? So guys, this is the end of the podcast. And always remember... But everything that starts with a yes. And yes, my name is MJ Lopez and see you soon.